I'm Cerise, Cerise D Jewelry, and 1116 Media. So I met Damon, I think this was 2013, 2014, when Jerome started the CAU fitness, naked fine uh, fitness classes, and everybody was going to campus, meeting there, working out. So anyway, talked to Jerome about Damon. I said, maybe I can get him to shoot some things for Cerise Jewelry. Things about Damon, of course, is his photography and video. Like, dude was just awesome. I mean, that's the best word. He was awesome. As you can tell from some of the video and photos we're going to show you, um, I just wanted to share some of those things with you. Um, we just always had the best time. Um, on our location, I called Damon. I'd be like, I got an idea to do this. I got an idea to do that. Let's go to Lake Lanier. Um, and Damon, he was just so gung ho and he loved what I was doing. He loved the models that I worked with. He always had valuable input. I mean, even if the girl didn't look right, he'd be like, mm. I'd be like, was she a little dragalicious? And he'd be like, mm, yeah, she sure was. <laughs> so uh, he just was awesome to work with. The other thing that just killed me about Damon, we be, <laughs> we be doing a shoot, we're shooting one look and this fool is still shooting. He's still shooting. I'm like, Damon, you got it. You've like clicked that thing like 200 times. I got it. You got it. Like you totally have it. We got to move on. Damon and I did so many shoots together. There's just too many to show you, but I just wanted to pick a few of my favorites um, to share with you guys. So people say, what is your best video or what's your most popular? And one of my favorites is by far the carnival shoot. Like Everybody loves that shoot because it's so vibrant and the colors and it's a carnival. So what's not to love, right? So me and Damon, we were kind of head <laughs> going head to head. Like I had my vision, he has his vision. And um, one of the things with this cotton candy, I wanted her to do something and he wanted her to do something else. But by the time it came out, it was just perfect, right? And then another, he really took one for the team because he wanted to get her on the whatever that thing is going around and around. So she got in one cart, he got in another cart. And by the time he got off that thing, he was sick. Like he was dizzy and drunk and like, you know, you get on one of those things. We, we not spring chickens anymore. So he really took one for the team. Now here's one of the great things. So this ballerina shoot. So Kayla is a dancer. And uh, I told her my vision was to have her in the street in her ballet, you know, uniform, unitard, whatever it's called, with her ballet slippers. Well, she forgot to bring damn ballet slippers. So I said, you got to have, we got to have them. Like, that's my vision. I see you on the street. So Damon, you know, he's just as calm and, you know, he's not the anxious type of person. And so he just waited and he's like, you know, we just shoot some other stuff while we wait. You know, little five points, she lived in... I don't know, Sandy Springs, somewhere like that. So we waited for her to go get the shoes, come back in traffic, and it just really made the video awesome. We are shooting Noel with the fake Jimi Hendrix. I'm not sure what his name is. I'm sure he has a name down a little five points, but they was rocking it. And Damon, as he's going around and he's circling and he's making um, his round shooting Jimmy and trying to, you know, I'm like, here, give Jimmy $20 so he'll cooperate and do what we want him to do. Um, it's causing a scene, right? So everybody is watching us. And that was um, that was a really good one. And I decided to come out with a line of HBCU jewelry. I'm like, Damon, I got this line of HBCU jewelry. We got to shoot it. So I typically do all my jewelry for women, but I had um, these chains and the little donut medallion with the school's uh, name on it. And I had 10 HBCU, so of course I got my CAU, because we CAU, right? Find a way or make one. And so I said, who can we get to rock the chain and get to give them, uh, have them do a testimonial about themselves and HBCU and CAU pride, that sort of stuff. So I got my boy Drez the Beatnik. So Damon and I met Drez down at MJQ, of course and um, filmed him doing his thing. And we're like, you know, Drez, get up there. But of course the club was empty. This is, you know, in the daytime. And so we're like, get up there, act like you're on the mic and, you know, do like you do how you would normally do. And um, that was awesome. <laughs> and then of course, CAU's notable uh, Mars Hall. So DJ Mars 
Um, we met him, I don't remember where we were, but we met him at some club. They were having like a um, brunch party thingamajig and he was DJing. Uh, and so we got there and uh, it was funny because we were in the car and we recorded his audio in the car. And so Damon is like, it's gotta be silent. So we had no air conditioning, it was hot as hell. And, um, but I think Mars got it in like one take and we was out of there. So that was awesome. So I said, Damon, uh, we got an invite to go over to Ambassador Young's house. So Damon's like, cool, let's roll. So we head over there and first of all, we had them on the cover of the Cerise D magazine. So we have a magazine cover and we were going over there to shoot that in particular. So we're Damon's doing photo for the magazine cover. So then I'm like, mm, mm, ma, I'm telling my mom, ma, ma, do you think he could do a video uh, talking about HBCUs to, so we can, you know, play up the jewelry, the HBCU jewelry line. So unbeknownst to me, he is ready. Ambassador Young is like, yeah, you want me to talk? I'll talk. So <laughs> he talked so much, I couldn't get him to stop. So we just segued from a photo for the magazine into him doing this whole little mini series on his life history, talking about the HBCUs, uh, HBCUs he attended, and it was awesome. So another cute video that we did was um, we went down to the MARTA train station and uh, we just kind of took over a train. This one was awesome. So I have Noel, I have Kayla, and I have Gabrielle again, my awesome threesome, and Damon. And we are just the team, we the team to beat. Uh, this is our 70s inspired look. So really quick, my drone and Damon story. We're doing a shoot and uh, we finished the shoot. Damon's like, damn it, I should have had my drone take some aerial shots. So it's like this uh, car yard you'll see on the videos, this cars and graveyard, sort of desolate looking place. And uh, Damon goes the next day to shoot the uh, drone, but the drone won't fly. So he comes back to the studio and he's telling me the story. He's like, some dude came out and was like, you can't shoot over there because, you know, that's like mafia territory or something like that. And, you know, they have it restricted where your drone literally won't fly. So I'm like, are you sure about that? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I swear to God, he's like, I hightailed it out of there so fast. <laughs> and we laughed and we laughed. First started the Series D Jewelry Magazine in 2016. Patricia Russell McLeod was the first one on the cover. Damon shot her. Um, and then he continued to shoot for the maybe four or five covers that came up after that. The infamous Trap House ATL right around the corner from my studio. We had to do it. We had to do it. One of the last videos I shot with Damon, if not second to last, was our skating rink shoot. So we went to Sparkles in Atlanta and um, I just had this vision for you know, these crazy outfits and I had all the girls and, um, you know, they're all psychedelic with their neon and their glitter and outrageous makeup and all this sort of stuff. And uh, talking of B, I didn't speak of B-roll before, um, but I think one of the first times Damon talked about B-roll, um, I was like, what's B-roll? Uh, but he came back to Sparkles and got a whole bunch of B-roll for us for the shoot. It was pretty spectacular. When Damon called me and told me about Cash Mob, I was like, hell yeah, that's awesome. Let's do it. Let's highlight these businesses. I was down. So many people were a part of Cash Mob, and it was a great concept and a great thing to do to go out and highlight all those Black-owned businesses. I loved it. started having these conversation parties here at my studio, invited people to attend, but having him come to the, him and Talise come to the conversation parties really gave me a great insight to them as, you know, just everyday folks, and they crazy. They crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they crazy and David had some way out thoughts. I was like, oh Damon, you crazy crazy. Like it was a fun time. For years, Damon taught me so much about photography and video. And I remember when he got his little os, I think it's an Osmos, O-S-M-O, Osmo camera, this little bitty, this little bitty video camera. He was just so proud of it. And he was like shooting everything. And it, people would always say, hey, what's that? Is that a video camera? Damon's talent was just extraordinary. I haven't found too many um, photo and video people, like a person who can do both extremely well, but that was Damon. So he could be shooting with his camera and two seconds later, he's got the video. 
and he's back and forth, back and forth. And that's how we roll for our shoots. The phenomenal photographer and videographer that Damon was, he forgot to take the lens off the camera. 